Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I've got macOS Monterey installed on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Now I have a video in the description, which I'm going to link to, which is how to install Monterey on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, which is the beta version of the operating system, which you can get right now. I've been asked a few times about the gaming performance on macOS Monterey and whether there's going to be a substantial improvement over the Big Sur version of the operating system. And what I'm going to do now is to show you all of the benchmarks that I've run. So I've used the same methodology throughout. On my Big Sur Apple Silicon Mac, which was running 11.3.1, I ran the benchmark which is being shown on the left. And then right after I upgraded to Monterey, I ran the benchmark on the right. I did not touch any settings. And uh, you can see that the performance on Batman Arkham City is virtually identical. So this is not really much of a surprise. I mean, Apple are working on their operating system and their drivers constantly. And I think that any kind of improvements would have also been seen in the latest version of Big Sur as well. And so just the fact that we have a new operating system doesn't really mean that much for gaming on its own. Here I'm running Rise of the Tomb Raider benchmark. And we also have very, very similar results here. There's not a huge difference in the speeds. And there's definitely not enough to consider going out of the normal margin of error. So the main thing to note is that all the games that I'm testing are Rosetta 2 games. So they are being translated via the x86 translation layer. So that might be a factor why there might not be any improvement. There's also the fact that we might have different ambient temperatures and the computer might be a different internal temperature based on how long it's been run. Also, there's the factor that I'm still running these recordings via a screen recorder. So that might be a factor in various differences in the actual speed. So the only real difference in the benchmark that I can see is going to be in this particular game, which is Deus Ex Mankind Divided. So at the end of this benchmark result, you'll see a kind of significant difference between the uh, kind of minimum frame rates and the average frame rates. And uh, I'm not sure whether this can be chalked up to an actual improvement in macOS Monterey or whether this is just an anomaly. But um, I do encourage anyone else, if they've got access to Big Sur and also Monterey on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, to try and repeat this experiment and see if there's any kind of difference in speed. So you can see here, the benchmark results are actually substantially different, especially the minimum frame rates. Uh, so it's quite an interesting one, but I don't think it's significant enough to draw any major conclusions about operating system differences. Anyway, I hope this helped answer some questions. If you'd like to know more about macOS Monterey or have any gaming requests, please leave a comment and I will try to accommodate you. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.